50 years ago, we traced its journey today. Speaking at a remembrance service in Parliament, Prime Minister David Cameron paid tribute to Churchill's leadership in the Second World War. A time when Britain saved herself, saved Europe, quite possibly saved the world. And we were so incredibly fortunate to have at that time a leader so strong and so resolute. The funeral 50 years ago became the largest the world had ever seen. It was attended by more than a hundred heads of state. The families of two hostages being held by ISIS are awaiting word about the fate of their loved ones. A deadline imposed by the militants expired yesterday, but the jihadist group has yet to signal its next move. ISIS is holding a Japanese journalist and a Jordanian fighter pilot. For the latest from Jordan, here's the CBC's Derek Stomp. Dozens of people marched through the dusty streets of the town where Jordan's now famous Air Force pilot is from. Children held pictures of First Lieutenant Muat al Kisazbe as their parents waited for word on his fate. Okay. I'm on my way home from the PD. I'm actually stuffed because they have these wonderful, they had these wonderful um, savory biscuits. And I had four of them, I think. Three or four. And then I had some carrots and some peppers. And I absolutely filled up. They were delicious. It's at a school in Kitchener, but uh, it's all in a neighborhood here. Ah. So all the roads up to this area are quite bare, sunny day and... But these roads here are the back roads and they are snow covered entirely. There's no center bear here. So we're in Kitchener at um, St. Francis School. I stuffed the last one in my mouth as I was walking across the parking lot, so that's why I am stuffed and brushing the crumbs from my mouth. So lots of people I haven't seen since last year. <clears throat> and pretty soon we're going to be here now finally out of the suburbs to a main road. And off we go. There we go. See, I knew that was going to happen. No, I didn't because I thought as last time it would last, but it didn't. That one time that it worked was too good to be true. That's too good to be true. Ah, so this is Sterling. Okay, we're all the way at the other end of Sterling. Huh. I know how to get to places, but I miss the roads that I'm on sometimes. So my, son was, my husband would say, oh, you're on Sterling when you did that. And I'm going, oh, really? I was? know how to get there. I don't know the names of the roads. Okay, let's go. So, um, there were uh, a large number of te teachers there and we were talking, we were learning about compassion fatigue. Meanwhile, it's a Friday afternoon and everyone is thinking, I have body fatigue. And we're sitting in a room that uh, is backed by windows that back onto the sun. And it's warm and their room is filled with people. So it's warm. So yeah, we're all falling asleep. 
but thank goodness they switched up the speakers a couple of times so um, nobody I think actually dozed off and I kept shoving food in my mouth so that I wouldn't you know maybe we'll go in this lane that lane ends up well I think for me let's see if I can do about this Alrighty, so I'm going to put you here on the seat. Open. And, uh, oh, did you slide down to the back? Oh well, I think we'll we'll have to cancel this and uh, think about this some other time, right? <laughs> Bye.